David Ogilvy and SMA. May. What do the two have in common and how will David Ogilvy enable you and your agency to generate your e-commerce clients an obscene amount of money and a crazy, crazy ROAS? That is the exact topic that I'm gonna be covering in this video and it's something that myself and the team at Bats Consulting are heavily implementing right now and it is working tremendously well. Guys, as always, just before we jump into the video, make sure you go ahead, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you turn on those post notifications. Now just before we jump into this video, guys, Bax Consulting is actually hiring, okay? So Bax Consulting is my e-commerce marketing agency and we are currently hiring. We are hiring for an appointment setter. You know, it's not a quick one-time thing. We're basically looking to bring somebody on board for the next six, 12, 18, 24 months down the line. So if you think that would be a good position for yourself, click the second link in the description, okay? The second link, it's gonna take you to an application form. Fill that out and then from there, we will email you back. I was super excited to see everybody's applications. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. First of all, who is David Ogilvy? Well, David Ogilvy has been coined as the father of advertising. He is one of the biggest advertising tycoons that has ever lived. And he was actually the founder of Ogilvy and Mather. Look, I'm not gonna bore you with who this guy was and what he did and how he grew up and all this different stuff. I know that's not what you're here for. I wanna go through why he's so, so important and why you need to study him super closely. Why should you know who David Ogilvy is? Why should you listen to him? Why am I telling you as well that you need to kind of base your SMMA off of his best practices? Yes, David Ogilvy is coined as the father of advertising, but more specifically, he's coined as the father of copywriting. And that is the reason that I'm making this video the father of copywriting, okay? Because moving forward, okay? Uh, David Ogilvy was kind of, you know, super big in, uh, you know, the, the 20th century, right? He's super, super big. His agency just skyrocketed to the moon. And he is honestly known as one of the best, if not the best copywriter for newspapers, right? Newspapers, which was like, you know, the Facebook ads back in the day. And he absolutely killed it. He had clients from Bentley to Hathaway shirts to just the biggest brands, right? And he noticeably increased their sales at a tremendous rate. Now, obviously, we can't copy his advertising mediums directly because new paper, newspapers in this day and age are terrible. You need to use Facebook ads, as you're probably already doing for your SMMA clients. But one thing that you can carry over from him is his copywriting. See, moving forward within the Facebook advertising platform, the most Hands down, the most important thing is copy and creative. Copy and creative is what's going to enable you to generate your clients crazy results. It's what's gonna enable you to put your agency on a pedestal in this respective niche that you're in. If you're not in the e-commerce niche, you should be, and majority of, of you probably are. And so basically it's gonna enable you to stand head and shoulders above your competitors because you are focusing on copy and creative and copy and creative moving forward within the Facebook advertising platform is the most important thing. Depicting and generating the best results for your clients. And if there's one thing that you focus on as an agency owner, it should be for you to increase your copywriting skills. I know you're probably saying, well, my media buyer can do that. My media buyer can just handle kind of all of that. I don't need to think about it. But honestly, guys, like as agency owners, I highly recommend that you invest some serious time into learning from David Ogilvy, into putting time and effort into, you know, trainings and stuff like that for copywriting, because that is the one skill that I highly recommend that you have as an agency owner. You don't need to really understand how to run the best Facebook ads in the world, how to run the best Instagram ads in the world, but copywriting will make you hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can almost guarantee you that if you generate the ability to write copy amazing, amazingly well, you will become far more successful within running your agency. Whether it's running Facebook ads, right? Copy for Facebook ads. That's gonna be the most important for your clients, but I'm talking copywriting for landing pages. I'm talking copywriting for VSLs, for video sales letters. Yes, it's a video. Yes, it's somebody talking, but there's also a lot of copywriting that goes into the back end of it, right? In terms of scripts and stuff that you should say and pointers and stuff like that. And the process that you take somebody from. People think that copywriting is the physical words that you write. And yes, it is, but it's also the process, the sales process that you take somebody from. Why do you start talking about 
x and not y. Why do you why do you leave y to the end of a piece of copy and put x at the start? It's the process that you take people through. So for example, a VSL, it's that process that you take somebody through. Somebody completely cold, no idea who you are, right? They've never heard of you. They've come through a Facebook ad, they've come through an organic post, whatever, however median you've got them there, they have still basically no idea who you are. To then taking them through a 30, 35, 45 minute video, whatever it is, to then making them take an hour, 45 minutes out of their day to book in a call with you to talk about them paying you a serious amount of money for you to run their ads, right? That's a process and that's copywriting. That's the sales process, it's a copywriting. People think of sales processes as like Facebook ad to the website or to the landing page, to a funnel, to the X, Y, and Z, but there's also a sales process within a piece of copy. Okay, and so it's like, you see that I'm getting a bit, you know, energized here, but it's so, so important moving forward. For example, here's a real life example of how important copy is. One of our e-commerce clients that actually signed on with us at the end of last month was working with a previous agency who was running their ads for them, okay? And their unique CTR link click on Facebook, if you've ever run Facebook ads, you'll know this metric. By the way, never base your copywriting skills, never base your kind of CTR, off of CTR all, okay? Within Facebook, there's different metrics. Never base it off of CTR all. Always base it off of unique CTR link click. Because CTR all basically means, you know, if you, if you write longer form copy, which you should be doing, which is the point of this video, if you write longer form copy, um, in, in you know, when somebody sees your ad, there'll, there'll be a see more section for them to click and read the rest of your copy, right? If you look at your CTR all metric, that's gonna include those people as well, and you don't want that. So you wanna do unique CTR link click because that basically means the percentage of everybody who sees your ad and actually clicks the link through to the website. Back to my example, that e-commerce client I'm talking about was working with that previous agency and their unique CTR link click before we came on board, before Bats and Tilting came into their ecosystem, their CTR link click was 1.05%. And I mean, it's above a 1%, you know, you should always be aiming to get at least above a 1% unique CTR link click. And it was, but that's, you know, it was only 1.05%. Now let's move to this month, right? We've been working with this client, as I say, we signed them on at the end of last month. So this bit, this month has been entirely us, right? This first month of us, basically full month of us working with them has been entirely us. And right now I've got their ads manager pulled up. Right now, their unique CTR link click, that same metric, is 3.01%. So we have effectively tripled the amount of people who see the ad and actually click through to the website. And so yes, we're scaling up, the ad spend has increased because we're scaling things up and we're getting you know healthier ROAS and scaling the, the, the ad spend up and whatnot. Yes, we're doing that. But if we didn't and we still generated the same CTR and we kept the spend the exactly the same, as the previous agency, we would have tripled the amount of people that we was getting to the website without spending a dollar more. That's the importance of increasing your CTR and that's the importance of focusing on copywriting and the creative, right? Focusing on the ad level in Facebook ads moving forward. I know this video wasn't the most value packed as usually my videos are, but I do want to show you how important it is to focus on the ad, ad level. Now I know a lot of you are probably thinking, yeah, that's all well and good, like focus on the ad level, but what do you do with like campaigns and ad sets and whatnot? Honestly, as I say, Facebook is becoming very, very, very smart. Okay, it always has been, but it's becoming very smart. It's becoming very, very effective. And so really at the ad set level, at least this is what we're doing for our clients is we're going more broad than targeted. Okay, we're, we've got audiences now. I mean, for some of our clients, for two of our clients right now, we are running no targeting ad sets. Like I'm not joking, like there's no targeting. Okay, it's all genders, 18 to 65 plus, and it's just a country. There's no interests. There's no nothing, it's just a country and I'm pretty sure for both of them, we're currently doing United States. That's it, 300 million people, right? That's, that's the size of the audience, right? Actually, it might be a bit smaller because not everybody's on Facebook, but it's like over 200 million people, put it at that. There's no targeting. And so I don't recommend you just go no targeting and that's it, you don't look at ad set level. I don't recommend that, 
But I'm saying that's the reality of it. You can go a lot more broad now, at least at the ad set level, and really, really hone in on your copywriting and the creative. It's so, so important. Now back to kind of the topic of this video, David Ogilvy and his impact on your SMMA. What I want you to do is get two books, okay? Two books, Ogilvy on advertising and the confessions of an advertiser, both of them obviously by David Ogilvy, and honestly those will help you see kind of how he structures his copy they'll go through his seven commandments okay in, in regards to advertising and kind of his seven essentially advertising principles that he stands by consistently and honestly I know that like you know he was born I think he was born like 1963 or something like that I maybe get my dates mixed up but something like that so he was definitely in that era but guys like trust me on this his concepts, his values, his outlook on advertising is still massively true today. The only thing that's different is the medium that we do it on. We don't write advertisements in um, newspapers anymore. We write them on Facebook, but his kind of ideas, his thought processes are still as true today as they were back then in his absolute prime. So I hope you can pull some value from this video and you start to look into David Ogilvy's stuff and other people of that nature as well. You know, you've got Claude Hopkins. He was another similar to David Ogilvy in terms of copywriting and whatnot. You know, I want you to pull that away from this video um, because I know I didn't give you any actionable, like do this, this and this to grow your agency like I usually do. But honestly, like I couldn't not make a video about this because as I say, we're really focusing on this now at Bax Consulting with clients. We're actually, some clients we're doing CBO and really, really honing in on our creative and copywriting. And um, I just wanted to share that with you on the channel. You guys know I only ever talk from personal experience, what I'm currently doing in my agency, all that type of stuff. And this is something that we're doing and we're seeing tremendous, tremendous results with it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.